to come. Alrighty, kids. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, I'd promised for some more HHO uh, stuff, and uh, this is my try <laughs> to do something like that. As you'll see, I'm ready to go to in the car production. This is just a regular water filter thing. I think it cost about 15 bucks at uh, <clears throat> a hardware slash um, hardware type place. I got a three quarter inch plug for that side. This side has a three quarter uh, inch threaded to one half inch barbed uh, connection for gas out. But nice, thick. Clear. I could probably hit it with a hammer a couple of times and not break it. I wouldn't say, you know, more than that. Then we've got this. And this is some nice, fine, 316T stainless steel screen from uh, McMaster, I believe is where I would had to get it. If you want to see what their designation for it is, that's right there. The thing is, is this stuff is expensive. Square yard, 70 bucks, which hurt. It was not fun. But the reason for this and this is to make cells for that. Now, I'm going to be making tube cells because, obviously, it's a tube container. Everybody likes the plates these days, but uh, I'm liking tubes and screen. And here's an idea of, to give you size. Sorry, I'm, in the sh I'm making a shadow here, but it's, that's about, uh, oh, probably around 33 millimeters long or 13 and a quarter inches. So you can get an approximate idea of how big that is. And the idea is this. This is going to be the first cell. Let me put this up while I form it here. screen has two flaps one here one here the idea whether it works or not we're not sure is to uh, take these two flaps put them on the inside As you can see, I was able to make a cylinder out of it. It's not perfect. There will be tie straps used to tie down these flaps, or at least tie down that one. And that one, you can see how it's not perfect in any way, shape, or form. But uh, these tubes are going to be formed, and then there's going to be a tie strap around for. Uh, spacing and then another tube and then tie strap and spacing another tube and spacing like so they're going to be nine tubes in all uh the deal is is that uh there's some guy in minnesota who, who's got a nice hho website and is giving his stuff away for free really doing stuff open source ish and he has this idea that doubling the the negative side will give you more hydrogen we'll give it a try i mean it can't hurt it is going to take down my amps i believe anyway but uh that's pretty much where we're at. I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between projects, as you can see, because that one's still there. Got this one here, that one, this one. So you're gonna have to give me a little time to, to get back into this, but I do want to realize the, uh, the HHO cell, as uh, it can at least stop the rise of oil prices for me for a little bit. Maybe take it back down at least for six months or something. I have a feeling that we're going to be going way past five bucks a gallon. I'll talk to you in a few, kids.